fantastic triple thrash treat. Meanwhile, UK Brummy Bruisers Benediction are set to release their fourth full-length album on the 16th of June. Once again, the band worked with longtime producer Paul Johnston, whose other credits include Pitch Shifter, Cathedral and Napalm Death. The new Benediction album is titled The Dreams You Dread, a name familiar to longtime fans of the band from an early demo. But whilst the album's title might hint at things past, this exclusive studio report reveals that Benedictions have their sights firmly set on a sound beyond the realms of death metal. We think the album's going to you know, push us one step further from the last one, which, which pushed us in a, in a good way anyway. But there's, uh, there's so much more people can get into on this album. You know, like, like I say about the collection of riffs and, and the, the tedious like, repetitiveness, well, we, we haven't gone for any of that. We've, we've picked a strong riff and we've built a song around that. And it, there's, there's plenty more that people can get into. Instead of, instead of coming to a, a Benediction show, they're not going to see their average you know, death metal show where it's just like an hour of noise or whatever, they're going to they're gonna see like 12, 14 songs that don't really get into something they can stand at the front of the gig and they can bang their head to, they can stand at the back, they can watch, they can dive to, they can do anything, anything they want, rather than just get the same beat going through their head for an hour. <laughs> The Grotesque sold pretty well for, for, a, for a mini album, an EP sort of thing. So when it comes to writing this new album, there's, there's sort of been no boundaries. There's obviously things you can't do, but there's, the boundaries have, have been far wider. We can, we can experiment and do loads of different stuff. I mean, still, still, the new album's still going to be exactly the same in terms of aggression, but we've, we've gone slower and we've also gone faster, but there's... there's uh, there's a, there's a start of, of one of the songs, Down on Oars, which is a bit, uh, bit melodic for our sort of stuff, but it's not lost any of its aggression. The song still kicks in, it's still typical Benediction, but it's gone a little bit wider than the first few albums. <laughs> I tried to make the lyrics on this album a little easier to understand. I've been not so much accused, but I've been told that my lyrics were uh, quite confusing. So I thought, okay, a different approach, a different style. Um, there, there's a definite uh, style I have. What it is, I don't really, don't really understand. But uh, let's see, the songs on this album, there's a, the opening track is called Down on Whores, which is, uh, I'll point out, it's not a sexy song. Um, it's about, uh, the, recently they discovered the diary uh, bricked up in a wall, which uh, it's evidence that uh, the guy in the diary, James Maybrick, was uh, Jack the Ripper. Now I'm pretty much interested in Jack the Ripper, and I have been before in the past. I've written a song on the Grand Leveler album, Born in a Fever. That was about Jack the Ripper. So, um, you know, there's, there's that side, there's still the the, uh, the reality side of things, but also I found that uh, with fantasy you can create more songs which are more bizarre and so macabre that uh, you can, you know, have a really wide range of the lyrics. What they have in store for them do I desire? All of the the, the music is, is mainly written by me and Rui, the other guitarist. Frank, the bass player, has his bit of input. Uh, the lyrics are totally down to Dave. They're totally down to him. Neil, the, the new drummer, is fitted in real well. 
he's only been with the band now for maybe two months, three months or something like this. But he's, he's an 18 year old kid, which is good for us because he was a fan of the band before we got him in. Uh, and then the vacancy comes up for the drummer. He steps into it straight away and he's, he's still got his Biohazard T-shirts on and his Sepultura written on his bag. You know, he's really into the scene. So he's come to the scene now and he's given us a little bit of a kick. You know what I mean? Because we've been doing it for seven years or whatever. It, it starts to get repetitive. But he's given us a little kick now and he's saying he's really into it and everything. And it's really pushed us along a bit. Online confusion! Life breaks free! A mournful expansion Say last thing away We don't like to mess about and, and tart things up too much but with, with this album we've took a little bit longer we've, we've gone in and done one track at a time whereas before we've gone in and we've put all the drums down and then the week after we've gone and put all the guitars down week after all the bass this time we've put the drums down in one go you know, over the space of about ten days and then we've gone in and done one track at a time. We've done all the guitars, the bass, and the vocals for the one track. And then when we're happy with it, we've moved to the next track. We haven't spent hours and hours getting it right, but we've just, you know, all lived with that song for two days and then moved on to the next one. It's, it's a lot easier to do. As I said, watch out for the new Benediction album hitting the shops on the 16th of June. Meanwhile, the 12th of June marks another important record release because Fear Factory's much-anticipated new album, Demanufacture, arrives in store. After the break, we'll be bringing you an exclusive preview of the new material in our Fear Factory studio report. So do stay tuned. Back. Call them what you like.